Hey guys, uh, welcome to Weology. Today I'm um, be showing you how to uh, put how to play DVDs on your Wii. Uh, make sure you read my warning. Don't be scared of it. It's just a little protection. Like I said, um, I'm gonna show you how to play DVDs on your Wii via the Homebrew channel. <clears throat> Step one: some things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need the Homebrew channel. Um, see my first video on this if you don't have the homebrew channel on your Wii yet you need an SD card, SD card reader um, and <clears throat> you're going to need a folder on your SD card uh, named apps if you've been following my videos you probably already have this but if you don't then you need a folder named apps and you're going to need two files uh, DVDX and mplayer which you can find in the video description <clears throat> now, once you get uh, the two files, you need to extract them to your desktop, like so. We have Weology DVD, that's going to be the file you're going to download. Now, just right click, extract here. Now, you have two files, two zip folders, uh, DVDX and mPlayer, and you want to extract both of the files here on the desktop or wherever you wish just make sure you know where they're at so check files here now you want to insert your SD card now like I said if you don't already have an apps folder you need to create one and you want to put both files in the apps folder Now remove your SD card from your computer and insert it into the Wii. And I'll show you what to do next. And I'll show you what to do next. Alright guys, once you have your SD card um, loaded into your Wii, you want to navigate to the homebrew channel. Start. And you're looking for one of the files that says apps dvdx slash boot dot dope. It's not going to have a description or a little icon on it, but um, just look for one that says DVDX. You can click on it and press load. Now what you want to do is you want to do the normal install. I don't know if you can see it, but it's the first option. Um, I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed, but uh, just follow the menu and it's real easy. You can do it on your own. Now once you have that done, you can just go to exit. And once you have DVDX installed, you want to navigate to M Player. Now, M Player is going to have a nice little icon and a little description. So now you can load your DVD up and go to DVD Video, play DVD, and uh, it takes a, a while here, but the quality is really good. The sound is really good, so. Uh, just be patient, let it load the DVD. Right now I have Eagle Eye in. And once it's loaded up, I'll go through some of the controls with you. And there you go. Okay, so um, the right arrow will fast forward, um, left arrow will rewind, um, A will pause, um, 1 will bring up the little menu, that menu, uh, the plus button will skip to the next chapter, and the minus button will skip we'll go back a chapter and that's really about it it guys it's a really nice application especially if uh, you know you don't have a DVD player so uh, yeah just rate comment and subscribe if you have any questions I'm um, happy to help uh, my next video is going to be on how to set up an FTP server uh, you never have to get up and put the SD card in your in your computer again just load up the FTP server and 
you can transfer files uh, wirelessly over your network and I'm also going to be putting up a video um, a full tutorial on how to uh, back up your Wii games and how to play them it's going to be really it's going to be a really good video so stay tuned thanks again this is uh, brought to you by Weology